In our moment in time, Jaime Sybil, a great collector and historian with one of the greatest collections of rugby memorabilia, highlights his greatest moment and experience in rugby. Well, uh, I've been very fortunate in that uh, I was at the first game, the opening match against Australia, when uh, no one really thought we were going to win, but we had to win to get onto the high road, if that's, that's the story is known. And um, when uh, Mandela came onto the field, the crowd as one started shouting, Nelson, Nelson, it was unbelievable. That was the one, and um, probably couldn't lose after that. And then the final, and I was very fortunate to be there, um, when he came onto the field with his uh, with the number six jersey, I mean, that was just, just incredible. I, mean, <laughs> I think the New Zealanders thought, well, this is it, you know. Um, but uh, that, was, that was just an unbelievable moment. And then um, I subsequently uh, have obtained a couple of uh, signed Mandela uh, photos uh, of the World Cup, Pinar and Mandela signed, and so uh, very valuable uh, part of my collection and a very poignant part of my collection. And uh, those, uh, those, if without him, I don't think we would have won the World Cup and I don't think we would have had a Springbok uh, emblem because he, he intervened and uh, you've seen it in the films and so on. Um, without him, we probably would have been called the Proteas. We can thank him for a lot of our sport successes. Jaime donated some of his rare and valuable memorabilia for display at the Springbok Experience Museum in Cape Town. It's been an absolute pleasure to deal with the Saru chaps and, and experience their professionalism, the kind of um, effort they've put into uh, treating each piece of memorabilia. When I, I, I met with Andy and Hendrik, they came here, spent the day here, went through a lot of my stuff, um, I was very impressed and as I say I've been there right from the beginning so it was with a very happy heart that I gave them uh, the five or six pieces um, to display and um, if, if I find something like recently I found a little uh, a little uh, uh, colored um, rugby uh, uh, brochure booklet and I gave that to them to display. So as I find things that I think they might be interested in, I let them have it. And it's an absolute pleasure because it, it, it's just there for, for say, what's the point of keeping it in, in, my, in my house, you know, when it can be shared by so many people? But it was absolutely wonderful. And then to see the way they had displayed my, my, my items uh, was wonderful. I gave them an 1891 cap that was not in the best of condition and they had it restored. And I mean, it looks as if it uh, <laughs> produced yesterday. There were two caps, in fact, and then some other, some other printed matter as well. You can view some of Jaime's unique sporting memorabilia and much more at the Springbok Experience Museum at the V&A Waterfront in Cape Town. It's well worth the visit. <laughs>